Look at what we have here. I have an Atari one back there. Oh, really? There's a Sega Genesis back there, the same too, but I can't find any of the. I want to see that too. <laughs> I want to see. Have, I, I want to see it all. That. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a quest to build a video game collection, starting off with just a $10 bill to prove that you can indeed still game hunt in today's time, and you can do it on a budget. So guys, theoretically today, this Monday, should be the day uh, I just finished up Siege. Southeast Game Exchange. Uh, I went to a convention. Uh, here's the thing, I can't tell you my experience yet because I'm filming this before I go. I'm sure I had an incredible time. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll try to throw in some B-roll um, from the experience, but there are gonna be plenty of videos to come from that whole experience. I already have a bunch planned with a ton of YouTubers that are now my friends, which is crazy to even think about, but the retro community at large has been so special to me, uh, and I just can't wait to get out there and to film a ton. Again, I have not wet yet, but I'm sure I had a great time. So be on the lookout for all of that. But before we get into this week's episode, into this week's footage, and if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, uh, from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Guys, every single Monday and Thursday, we are coming out with new retro nostalgic content, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into this week's footage. It is good to be back in the game room. Guys, let's get into a update of the $10 game collection. Uh, the last two episodes, we had a two-parter when we went on vacation in Florida. We picked up all of these games at pawn shops. Got to go hunt with my boy Dan from the Retro World TV on YouTube. It was awesome to go hunt with him. Go check out those two episodes if you missed it. We got to go hunting at all the pawn shops in Florida, which were friggin' phenomenal, may I add, while I was on vacation there. Uh, we left off with, I think, just over $368 in the game fund. And other than that, guys, uh, I'm ready to get back out there, hitting up garage sales, hitting up flea markets. Let's do it. All right, guys, a couple of things to talk through at this Goodwill. Uh, there are some games here. So the first thing to talk through is NCAA Football 11. I think it was like two or three episodes ago, I passed up on this and quite a few people were like, dude, you should have picked up NCAA Football 11. No, not, not on the Xbox 360, on the uh, PS2 and I guess original Xbox, I'm not sure on that. NCAA Football 11 is worth picking up, but not for the Xbox 360. It's worth like four or five bucks. So gonna pass on that. But here are some games right here. We got GoldenEye Rogue Agent. This is unmarked for two bucks. So we're gonna get that. Hitman 2, I know we don't have this in the collection yet. Um, OG Xbox game, wow, look at that. 45 bucks back in the day. So we'll get that. Then we got Command and Conquer 3. Um, I can't remember if we have this or not. I'm gonna look it up, see if we do in our game app, but regardless, I'm probably still gonna pick it up for two bucks. And then Red Alert 3. We sent the recon team here earlier, but they haven't reported back. Make haste to the launch facility, but be on your guard. Another Command and Conquer game. We've got quite a few Command and Conquer games at this point, but uh, I looked this one up. It's worth like 12 or so. So right here, eight bucks for these, for these uh, four games. There were a couple DS games, but nothing <laughs> worth getting. You got Per Pals and then Brain Age. So I'm not gonna get either of those. Oh, check it out. Shout out to the Magic School Bus. Yep, pretty nostalgic there. I'll try to put these back. So yeah, not gonna get those DS games, but definitely gonna get these four right here. So I'm gonna keep looking around. I will update you if I find anything else. All right guys, there are games at Goodwill today and specifically an uncommon game that I've never seen before. 
So these are all four bucks each. He got Star Wars 2, Battlefront, classic, but I already have it, don't need it, and it only sells for like 10 bucks, man. This thing I think, used to sell for quite a bit more, but oh well. Here is 24, guys, the official game of 24. Wow. Nope, not on that either. Men in Black 2, Alien Escape. I thought about maybe getting this one for four, but I mean, it's, I don't know, man. That's about what it's worth. San Andreas, classic. I think this one right here was actually uh, Vice City, but you also already have that one. And then the uncommon game is Driver, Parallel Lines. Now, I knew as soon as I saw this that... Um, that it was at least uncommon because I've never seen this one before. And this one is complete. So that's good. Guys, this sells for about 25 bucks. 25, 20 on the low end. So we're gonna pick this up. Uh, there are some other sports games over here, but nothing, nothing worth getting. But this is a good pickup for four bucks, guys. I'm pumped. Guys, I just gotta show you this because this is nostalgia overload. Nostalgia Overload, Rugrats, Color Tees. Now, I didn't have this one. I had a turtle one, but you color on your shirts and then you iron it and then you wear it. Look at this kid, he is loving his Rugrats tee. I don't think it's gonna look that good, man. But how sick is this? $2.12 and it's never been used before. I opened it up and it looks, it looks like it's never been touched. So I'm gonna get this just because I think it's Awesome, man. Color tees. Amazing. All right, guys. Something that we've been needing to do for a while is trade in some games to GameStop. Now, that probably sounds crazy to people, but no, guys. There are games that trade in incredibly well at GameStop. Uh, I will link um, right up here a couple of videos where we actually get games for free at GameStop by trading in games and basically it's basically a whole process so go check out that video if you've not seen it but there's some games down here that we've been basically sitting on to bring to gamestop to get good credit so the first one is left for dead 2 i believe this trades in for about 11 dollars, and we have two of these uh, side note you can only bring in one copy of a game at a time so basically what you can either do either do is bring them in um, to the game store or to GameStop and then wait a day and bring them in again, the same game again, or go to a different GameStop. I think for me today, I don't have a ton of time. I think I'm just going to go to one and then go again tomorrow. So th those are both 11. And then all of these Call of Duties, Call of Duty 2, Black Ops 2. This is crazy, guys. This is trading in for like 13 bucks right now, trading credit. So there's four of these. Another side note is I think if you trade in the same game five times, you can get banned from GameStop. So um, kind of be on the lookout for that. I'll probably trade in. I'll probably just trade in three for now. Um, so I don't know which one yet, but uh, and then these right here, here's some Minecraft games. These trade in for 11 each and these don't have the case. Um, so I would get about 15 or so on eBay and then have to pay for shipping and stuff. So I might as well just trade those in. And then the same thing for GTA 5. These trade in for $9 each. Um, so we'll trade in at least three of those. My son is being a lunatic right now and screaming. So if you hear that, sorry. Oh, here's another Left 4 Dead. I didn't even know we had another one right there. Oh, because we don't. It's a wrong game. Boo. And then Just Dance 4. This trades in for $9. What else do we have? I think some of these Lego games trade in pretty decent. I'll check on a couple of those. And over here, um, that's just an empty case. These two are empty cases, and we have one more Mario Kart. But I, don't, I actually don't want to trade that in because I can get more on eBay for that. So right here, theoretically, let's see what we're looking at. And you guys know, I didn't pay more than $2 for these games. They're all they're all either a dollar or two. I think one of the Minecraft games I paid three for. So let's just say an average of $2. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So $28 is what we paid 
for all these games. And we're looking at uh, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 65, 74, because there's two in there, 74. Oh gosh, 77, 87, 100, 113, 124, 135, 148. So about $150, about 140 to 150 in credit right here for about $24 spent. Uh, and basically the whole idea is to bring these in and then sit on the credit until they have some pretty great deals. So let's go trade in one copy of each right now to uh, to GameStop and see how we do. It's okay, I'll try these in. We did pretty good guys, just a couple dollars short of where I thought we were going to be because we got hit with a fee, a resurfacing, refurbishing fee. Now you guys told me to be on the lookout for that. It's just never happened to me, uh, happened to me before because everything that I bring in is in really good shape. I mean that disc had no scratches on it so I had to ask them you know, why, why am I getting dinged four bucks on this? They said, um, specifically on Xbox 360 games, that if there's scratches uh, in the middle of the ring, like not even on the disc, um, but uh, on the middle ring. I, I don't know, I'd never heard that before, but I said, you know, whatever. So I think they ended up giving us like seven or eight bucks for that one. Um, so $4 short. Uh, yeah, I mean, I bring games in all the time to GameStop, never. Not one time have I ever got dinged for that, but here we are, I think $48 and some change. So now it's time for us to wait for a, a good deal, preferably buy two, get uh, get two for free, but also buy two, get one uh, is good as well. So guys, you can trade in games to GameStop uh, and make good money, get good trading credit. We still have uh, that huge stack of games to bring in. So uh, I'll probably wait a couple days to do that. But uh, for today, $48 and some change. All right, guys, we are at GameStop right now, uh, looking through all of the games, of course, because right now they have a sale, buy two, get one free on $19.99 or less. And we have quite a bit of trading credit at this point. So I'm trying to find games right around that $20 mark uh, and then get one for free. So here's Transformers Battlegrounds for the Switch. It looks kind of interesting, so I'm gonna pick up this. And then there are a couple of 3DS games down over here. Sorry, the music is super loud. Let's see, we got Luigi's Mansion, uh, Dark Moon, that one's 18. And then here is Mario Party Top 100. So we'll end up getting, I think this one for free or Luigi's Mansion for free. And I also have a $5 coupon that we will use as well. So we're looking at like, what is that? 13 bucks a piece. So I'm gonna have the employee get both of those games out for me. I, I do. I don't know which one you need or if it's my name. Look at what we have here. Hmm. Can I see the Nintendo thing down here when you get a chance? Yes. You do. Sharon, why you got this priced at 50? I didn't price that. Oh man! Let's see what we got. Fifty bucks. It feels kind of late. Oh, is this the, is this new? This is feel like neatly packed. I think I think this is new. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know. There's a controller. I think this is brand new. Okay. Let me get this. Look at it. This has never been used. 
I'm getting it. 50 bucks is a great price on this. I'll check you out. Okay. Are you buying that? I am. I have an Atari one back there. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Does it have a box and everything, or is it just the... No, it's just the... How much is that one? I don't even think it works. I haven't tested it yet. Okay. Are you even telling me that? Did you... This one, this one looks new. Did you test this one? I mean, I, I was gonna say it looks like it's never been out of the box. No, it, yeah, I don't think so it I didn't want to take it out of the box just for you. Thank you. Yeah. We know how important boxes are. Let me. Do you care if I see the Atari one whenever you get a chance? Fifty dollars. Oh yeah. I don't know how these hook up though. Uh, so it would hook up. Oh, boats. Is it? Yeah, it's it's got a little wireless thing. Oh, so and then it is it would go, wireless? Yeah, this would plug into the TV, and then that plugs into that. Oh. These don't have the the value like the Nintendo ones do, right. but they're still kind of neat. So what's well, this for? Actually, I'm confused. Maybe you can do both. Maybe you can do right. wireless, wireless and you can do... Because I don't have the cord for the... Because, like, there's a, little, there's a little infrared thing right, right. there, so... I think Maybe. there's probably only like Pong and yeah, yeah. like the Centipede, probably. All the, uh, maybe, maybe Pitfall? Maybe, maybe and maybe uh, Asteroids. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you want for this? Your 10 on it. 10 bucks. Oh, that's only player two. Mm. Uh, let me see if I can find player one. I don't want to, you okay. know, let me sure. try and get it all together. There's a Sega Genesis back there, the same too, but I can't find any of the... I want to see that too. <laughs> I want to see, have, I I wanna see it all. I don't care. Have any of the cords. That's okay. That's what I thought you were going to bring out. So what do you do? Put the regular games in there? Yeah, you can. You can put regular games in right. it. Um, or it's just got the, the Sega games? Just has the, uh, well, I think there is games on these as well. Right, probably but, Sonic. Yeah. Classic game console. Yeah. Um, would you do 10 together? Yeah. So I did want to test these out real quick just to see if they fire up and they power on. I don't think I'm going to with the NES Classic just because uh, it's brand new. I can tell that the cords are in there all nicely wrapped uh, and it's HDMI. So I'd, I'd have to get out my HDMI converter and everything to plug it up to the good old CRT. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I've already powered this up, but I'm going to show you that here in just a second. I have not with the little at games Sega Genesis. It did not come with power or the AV, but that's okay because we could just use the AV from that. Or no, I have an AV for this. Uh, and I have the power because I, I actually own that little mini console uh, in my personal collection. So we'll try that out. So here's the Atari and it does power up and it looks like there's roughly 100 games on this given that there's 10 games here on the front screen and there's 10 pages. Uh, the only bad thing is when I try to pair it, this is controller two, so it's not it's not pairing. I think the first controller has the functionality of actually powering a, or a, connecting, the, connecting them to the actual console. And I do have the battery cover. I just noticed I didn't put that back on. So this does power up. Uh, I don't think too much in value at all, but cool to have that. It does work. All I need to do is get uh, controller one. So now let me get everything ready to plug up the Genesis. All right, we are all hooked up and ready to fire this thing up. One thing to note, I think I mentioned this in the footage whenever I was picking this up, but you can actually play your personal your own Genesis games in this, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know of any other mini consoles or plug and plays that have that feature, but really cool to be able to play original hardware on this. Um, so I thought maybe we would, we would test that out with Jurassic Park here in just a minute, it, providing it actually works. So let's do this. And there we go, we're in. So let's try the controller. There we go. Oh, I remember this. So I, I bought this years ago and remember thinking that this is a pretty cool little console, but the controllers are like legit straight up old school infrared. Like you have to be right in front of it. Like if I'm right here, not going to work. It has to like, you actually have to be right in front of it. So that's one thing to note. Let's see. There's Alex kid. Uh, let's see. 
Uh oh, let's see, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in front of it. That's the, that's the problem. Let's see, air hockey. Okay, so there's like really cheap games and then there's actually Genesis games. So there's Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Spinball. Y'all, I'm super nostalgic for Sonic Spinball. Uh, I think, what else is on here? Rystar. Y'all, Rystar is a great game. Uh, Decap Attack is one of my favorite games I grew up with. Let's just, let's just try, let's try Sonic Spinball. Let's see, let's see if it'll work. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. Bring me straight back to free in third grade. Start. And then you're in. That's what I love about old games. It's just like you press start and you're playing the game. <laughs> Pretty sweet. All right. So let's turn it off. Let's try Jurassic Park. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it completely bypasses um, going into any of the built-in games and goes straight into straight into this. So, guys, it works. All I need to do now is buy a power adapter because um, these little AV cables I have literally forty of them in a box. So, sweet. Let's go through value of everything that we picked up this week. We got mini consoles, guys. That is amazing. She brought them out from the back. That is why you have to befriend, build rapport with, you know, the Goodwill managers, thrift store, Salvation Army employees. You got to build those relationships because I would not have gotten these games um, from the back of the store. You know, these weren't even put out yet had I not have had that relationship. So that was pretty awesome. All in, we spent $70. We actually spent $70 this week because... We got these with trading credit, so I don't count us paying for these because it was completely trading credit. And side note, we actually have 4824 still left to spend at uh, GameStop. So all in, we spent 70 bucks and we will go through value. So starting over here, I'm gonna go pretty quick, guys. GoldenEye Rogue Agent uh, is worth six bucks. Hitman 2, which is actually a really great game, it's only worth five. That always surprises me when games that are like great games don't have any value. It's kind of crazy. Here's Red Alert 3, Command and Conquer. This is one that I knew we did not have yet. This one is worth 12. And then Command and Conquer, we do have this one. So we'll end up flipping this or trading this one in. Command and Conquer 3, this is worth seven. So we paid uh, eight bucks for all of these and total value of 30, 30 right there. Here is that driver game. I love the driver series. And again, I've never played this one before. I, I played the original one on uh, PS1, but I knew as soon as I saw this, that this is probably worth something. A lot of the obscure or uncommon racing games have some pretty good value. So this is worth 23 bucks. And uh, it was actually marked as four, but when we checked out, yeah, let's see, she charged me two. So that was pretty sweet. And then over here, we got Transformers Battlegrounds. Uh, I just just thought it looked interesting. I don't know what you do if, what do you do? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I'll throw up some gameplay. So uh, if you don't know either, we can all learn together. So this is worth 20 bucks. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Gosh, what a great game. I love all of the Luigi Mansions game. Luigi Mansions games. That's hard to say. Uh, but this one is great, only worth 17 bucks. And then Mario Party Top 100 is worth 19 bucks. So cool to get those. I could not end up using my $5 coupon for the month because you can't stack. I thought you could, but you can't. So we spent 42.49 of our trading credit. And then over here, uh, we got the NES Classic. This thing, this thing is new, guys. You can tell because look how, look how it's wrapped. Like this has never been taken out. So I would probably, if I was gonna sell this, people ask me sometimes, how do you list your things on eBay? Like good versus very good. So many people list new that the items aren't new. I, I don't know if I would list this as new. I would probably list it as like new or open box. That's probably what I would list it as because it is obvious that, you know, it's never been used before, but 
and it's super clean. Look at this thing. There are a ton of fakes of this out there. You can kind of tell there's a little bit of like texture on this. You, you'll you know if you see a fake one. We got that one fake one. What was it? A couple weeks ago. Um, but obviously that one was fake because it said like family computer system or something there. This is the real deal controller. Uh, this is awesome. Stoked to add this to the $10 game collection. This will not be sold. We're going to keep this um, and just keep it in the collection. And then we got the Atari and the Sega. Guys, I gave the value of this as, as $10 just because I don't know. We're missing a controller here and we don't have the, the plug and the AV. So it's not worth much more than that. So we'll just say $10 on all that. And the NES Classic is worth $125. So all in, we spent $70. For the week and we have a grand total of 244 dollars so not like an insane week like we've had in the past but only spending 70 bucks getting to add some games here a switch game which is really cool uh and then an nes mini i mean that's that's kind of the the cream of the crop right there man a beautiful box that's going to display really well uh on the ten dollar game collection shelf and i'm happy 70 bucks 244 in value Apparently it was mini console week. Guys, we have not found any of these classic mini consoles at, at Goodwills or flea markets for the entire series, except for that one uh, NES bootleg one that we got just a couple weeks ago, but an Atari, a Sega, and a NES mini, all found in one place. Super pumped to add these to the $10 game collection. As always, thank you guys for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would, like the video. It helps out so much. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, peace.